I'm back in California. It's my second day back. So I want to talk about my overall experience in Sydney, Australia. I had a great time. As you can see, I uh, took a lot of drone footage, got some epic shots. So I want to talk about my good and my bad experience there. So we're going to start with my first week. My first week, I ended up working the entire week, which was amazing. And then Friday, I found out a client got uh, really sick and they didn't and he didn't tell us at all like he had the flu or anything so the next day he ended up getting everybody sick on set which sucked uh everyone caught bronchitis the photographer got it the hairstylist the makeup artist the other model and me of course out of all people of course i'm gonna catch the flu i my immune system sucks but it translated to my second week and i had a forced to book myself out the entire week, which was terrible because I ended up missing a lot of castings and a couple of photo shoots. But anyways, when I was uh, when I was really drowsy when I took this medication, and uh, I guess in Australia they have like kettles and they normally don't use like, teapots on top of the oven. So I was so high and drowsy on medication. I ended up taking the kettle and put it on top of the oven and all of a sudden flames start bursting up and my roommate was right next to me and he's like, Charlie, what are you doing? Oh my God. And the whole side uh, or the whole bottom of the kettle started melting. Like if you take like a, a melted candle and just wax started dripping, it was like that. And so I ended up buying the kettle and it wasn't cheap either. It was like one of those uh, fancy designer kettles that has like the options of green tea black tea and like a couple other stuff but it was about 140 bucks for the kettle so that was a 140 dollar mistake and i learned my lesson not to do that again but we kind of joked a couple of days later they call me the kettle man so every time like a model comes in town they say oh we had this guy who uh, burned our kettle and put it on top of the oven so I mean, it was it was a mistake but anyways so the third week i ended up bouncing back and uh did castings, uh, I was Ubering everywhere, doing photo shoots, did a couple of editorials, which was great. And then uh, one day I ended up going out to dinner and I hopped into an Uber and I ended up leaving my camera in the back car, uh, back of the Uber car. And I was like flipping out, I was trying to call the Uber driver, I contacted Uber. And then two days later, uh, I ended up getting a call from the Uber and uh, he says, hey, you got your camera back. So I was super relieved because I had so much footage I needed to document and if I ruined all that footage, that would have cost my whole trip, like I would have felt like crap. So that was that, and then the fourth week, which was my last week, I ended up trying to uh, capture some drone footage. It was I picked a really windy day heading down to Bondi Beach. So I ended up taking my drone super high, and uh, all of a sudden it just flies like a mile out to the ocean, and I'm trying to control it, try to like bring it back. And then uh, I kept pressing, because it has an option to, to do the helicopter, uh, like returning button like it'll it'll like automatically come back to the location where it launched and uh i it just kept going out and i couldn't get it back i tried to push it back i'm like shit shit so i'm like pacing back and forth like oh my god this is this can't be happening because i just purchased uh my drone like a month ago and, and if i lose that or crash in the ocean then it's like oh my god can you imagine that if i lost my drone lost my camera the entire trip that whole trip would have turned a completely 180 and would have been really bad but I ended up retrieving it back I had to like uh, take it low to the water and then somehow it just like come back it took like 10 minutes to come back because the wind it kept pushing it out but anyways the overall experience of the trip was amazing I had a great time um, I'm hopefully I'll be able to go back sometime during the fall or the winter no sorry because it's two seasons ahead so it's winter there so maybe the spring and summer, which is towards the end of the year, during Christmas time, and then sometime next year. So I went during the winter time, which was really cold, uh, a little chilly. There was a couple of days where it was pretty nice, but guys, I hope you guys like it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, comment below. I would love you guys a lot. That would 